Hello guys, so welcome to Switch Technologies. So in this video, let's understand about uh, what is test ng and uh, what is JUnit and how we do use them in our frameworks. Okay, so first of all, test ng and JUnit or uh, different libraries. So will help us to uh, create the frameworks. Okay, like oh, for example, we do have uh, different uh, frameworks in a testing BDD Cucumber page object model test ng framework. Okay, and uh, inside the page object model and inside the Cucumber also again we can do use the test ng. So test ng means testing next generation. Okay, so this framework will do have the many features. Okay, and JUnit is also having many features. But uh, uh, let's have a look on the different features first. TestNG is having different annotations. Okay, TestNG annotations we do have. So in that we are having the annotations like uh, so before before shoot before shoot and. Uh, before class so before test first next before class before method and test next next after method and after class okay so after test and after sort these are the nine annotations we are having so here before sort before test before class okay so here every annotation will do followed by a method i'll show you now okay so next uh, uh very first time please do take uh, inside a one uh, project first of all you have to do add the library okay you have to do add the library of the test engine so how to add the library means just select the project so and here uh, build path add library so here if if you do have uh, install the test ng okay from the market eclipse market so you will be get the suggestion like this test ng okay so we have to click next so and click finish so already added so don't do so once you get added so here you will get like a test ng so this is a library will help you to do perform the test ng framework and it will do provide the many features in that the first one is for example if you do create one project okay so or uh, uh, one package in this package i'm going to create one class so the classes i'm going to take the classes so demo test ng okay so here i'm not going to take the uh, main method and also you can also create the package in another way that is here you are getting test ng you know so create test ng class and here you are getting different annotations now please do select them so i said these different annotations just now and it is once you do create any test or once you do create so the class name i'm giving demo test ng so once you do create the class even though here you are not seeing the test automatically you will get the test so here you got the test because you are creating one class in the test ng means to perform the testing only right so that's why in default you will get okay so this is the way you are having different annotations and here annotations are having their importance okay how they are having importance means see here before method so before method is there and often method is there so and uh, just now i said every different annotation and every annotation is followed by a method right okay so this is the way every annotation is followed by a method and uh, before going to the importance and how they do execute let's uh, give some dummy implement implementation in it so let me do this that uh, method name of the other test means let me write it as a test case 
okay so this is the way uh, you can do modify and uh, just to give some uh, dummy implementation in it so this is a test case in that way please do give for everything also okay so this is the way you can do write the some dummy implementation in the method like to see something in the output so test case i said taken no so test case so here i here it is having some hierarchy of execution so before shoot will execute first and before test will execute after shoot after test after class before class will execute after class before method will execute after before method test case will execute so now so after test case after method will execute so even though they are not uh, uh, compiled here in this class in a, this particular hierarchy so they do execute in this manner only so okay so if you if you want to check them just execute now so here in the test ng you don't you no need to have any public static void main method okay so here you are having an another library that is test ng library so this library will uh, this library uh, because of this library you can do execute the class like a test ng class itself okay here you no need any static method just you can run as test ng test okay so once you return so here you if you can see so before shoot before test before class and before methods so if you give for example for five so one two three four five and six seven eight and test cases got passed after of all nine like suit will execute okay so these are the different annotations we are having now let's understand the importance of this test ng like different annotations so here before suit before test and before close class will execute only once okay and before method and after method will always surround with the test case to execute if you have number of test cases for example this is one test case if i do increase the number of test cases like this test case one test case two and test case three so i'm going to give this is a test one test case so this is a two test case so this is a three test case now if you do execute and you can analyze the importance and the hierarchy of execution again see here now here you are having three test cases so but if you observe before method before test before class executed only once and after method after class after uh after method sorry after class after test and after suit also executed once but if you focus here okay so these are executed like repeatedly okay so before executing the test case one before method executed after executing the test case after method executed and before executing the test case two before method executed after executing the test case after method executed and uh, again at the third test case before method and after method so here how it will be the beneficial with the test ng means okay so if you want to for example one application is there okay for example uh, facebook is an application so if you want to test the facebook you have to log in first whatever the feature if you want to test inside the facebook first you have to do uh, log into the application so this login is common for all the models so that type of the things you can do keep in before method okay so like the before method will act as a precondition of the test case okay if you want to test the settings so before going to the settings first of all you have to, your system should be logged in okay so that is the way you can do use the before method as a precondition of course they all these also use it as a preconditions but uh, these will execute only once but before method and after method always surrounds with the test case and execute how many times if whatever the different number of test cases you are having okay this is the advantage we are having the before method and these different annotations before method before test before shoot before class all these will also be available in the ga unit okay but so the thing what i'm going to take tell you now that is a data provider data provider and parameters 
we are having with the test ng okay and these what exactly the features these are means so data provider uh, will help you to execute the same test case with multiple set of the test data like retesting okay so now the same number of the test cases or same line for example uh, we are having like uh, you are having some certain test case okay so that test case is needs to be tested the test execution steps are common okay the steps are common but the test data should be vary okay test data should be vary so at that time you can use this data provider if you have 20 fields if you have 30 fields okay if you have more number of the text boxes in your text case at that time don't execute or don't pass the pass the test data from the uh, script itself you can just use the data provider and you can do execute the same number of the lines of the test case you can do right once but that will be executed the number of times whatever the test data you have will have okay parameters will help you to create the dot xml files in the test ng xml file and the test xml test ng xml file will help you to again to create the suits okay if you want to execute the smoke testing as a one suit sandy testing as one to one so regression testing build one regression build two regression build three regression at that time so the common test cases whatever you want to execute it that you can do mention and you can do create one suit and you can do run it as a regression testing as a sandy testing okay this is a way this uh, testing framework will help you to make the process easier and uh, to make the software test life cycle smoother okay so these are the some very important features and coming to here in the test ng you're also having the uh, you can also make the priority of execution okay so which test case needs to be executed one which test cases needs to be executed to so priority also given so if some test cases are non prioritized you maybe forgot to give some priority okay for example if you give here some priority let's see so here um, at the right test is there no so here i'm going to give so this is a, a priority to priority equal to one i i do assign and for this i'm going to give the priority as okay so this is priority two okay so here one test case test three i'm not going to give any priority for it so whenever you are not having the priority you are not giving any test case for the priority that will execute first okay fine so see run as test ng see test case three executed first test case one and test case three okay so and if you forgot to give all the priorities how it will execute means based on the alphabetical order test case after test case two after test case three so this is the way the execution will be done okay and sometimes you have to um, skip some test cases if some other module is not functioning okay you need to intentionally you know that some models for example login module is not working so remaining all the test cases whatever you written no need to be executed you can just skip them your time will save at that time you can also use depends on on methods okay some test cases whatever the test case you are writing means that you are writing under a method right yes or no so every test case you written inside a method so that's why you can make use of the feature that is depends on methods okay depends on methods you can use so depends on methods means so for example if it is executed then only other will be executed if it is not executed other thing will be failed or skipped sorry other thing will be skipped so what how you can do assign the uh, depends on method means so priority equal to three okay so if you want to execute this if the depends depends on 
methods you have to give the method name so what is the name method name if you wanted to execute this test case 3 if the test case 2 is if the test case 2 is passed at that time you can use this and run it okay so of course here all are executed so test okay default to test run once okay execute it again turn as test ng yeah so test run 3 because uh, everything is getting passed so in some time so if uh, you are having any uh a session error okay Furtherly, if you want to do validate the test case, we have to give the session. If this is got failed, no. So at that time, this will be automatically skips. Okay. And uh, if you want to, for example, few test cases, login model is simple. Okay. So for example, some user is there. Okay. So whenever the user, some create user fun model is not functioning. At that time, edit user, delete user, update user is no need to be test. Even you are unable to create means you need, you, need, you need to update and delete and everything. So that is the why if you want to make them that particular functionality or one particular complete model, you can make them as a group also. Okay. So one more feature is depends, depends on groups. Okay. So depends on groups. Before depending on the groups, here you can do create the groups also how to create the group means so for example this is a uh, belongs to groups equal to uh, login okay so for example this is uh, groups equal to uh, some admin so this is the way you can do create the groups as also okay so and uh, assign this is also related to something so you can also assign this to the existed group like admin okay so if you want to make it to execute so here you can use depends on groups equal to so which group we wanted to make it to depends login so once the login is executed this needs to be executed because this also becomes to, belongs to the same group so you now execute okay so every time we are executing we are seeing the output in the console itself. Sorry. Check it, terminate. Okay. So run from here. Run as distance. Okay. Maybe at the background, another group is uh, affecting this one. So this is the way you can do use the, uh, you can do use the different features in the test engine as well. Okay. So by using these features, we can make the software testing life cycle framework easier and the smoother. Okay. So this is small introduction about the test engine. So if we want to execute more and more, we will connect with the next topic. Thank you.